Hey guys, this is Justin from yourdino.com and today I have a video for those of you who consider upgrading your system to the yourdino.com system. Uh, many of you want to take a look at uh, the system in action and see you know the options and, and uh, what have you. And uh, today I have made available uh, a run with this engine that you see on the picture here. This is a pro stock engine, the billet block and uh, lots of sensors. So it's a good example. Let's first take a look at the run itself. So you can download this run and take a look at it on your computer. The address is um, yourdino.com slash dino run example. So if you go down here, here is the CSV file. So you can uh, download that, store it to your computer. Then it says here how to, to open it, but uh, I'll do it. You open your yourdino uh, program. And uh, after, so after downloading the file, you just go to open and you navigate to wherever you, you stored the file and you just click on the open and now you can you can play uh, with uh, with the, the run right look at the different uh, data uh, channels you see he has a lot of channels uh, uh, available here if eight EGTs for example you can see them here he has uh, eight lambdas you can look at uh, various pressures and temperatures what I would take a look at, I always like to look at uh, that, uh, is the uh, results versus time. And you take a look at the RPM to see that it's a, sw a smooth run. So it's here. And you see we had a little bit of a, yeah, a bump in the beginning. And then it was a super nice sweet uh, sweep here. Okay, so that's something you can, you can play with. Of course, play with the black uh, or dark. Uh, light mode or that stuff. But maybe more interesting is you can actually do the run itself. Again, if we go back to the uh, web page, that's, uh, let's see, that's here. Um, here it explains how to do the live run. So you need to download this zip file. The zip file is just uh, a couple of files uh, that you can store on your uh, computer. Uh, the first one is called the options.config file. So we'll load that into your dyno. After that, we'll run the raw log itself. Okay, let's do that. So we go here, options, restore options from file. And then you select the options uh, file that you downloaded in the zip file. Okay, and your dyno will restart. And uh, it will now come up with whatever uh, settings that uh, he had on his computer when he did this run. For example, we can look at the options. So we go here and uh, look at options. We see he has one load cell, that's obvious. It's a water break. Uh, we can look at, let's say, aux channels. So here are all the aux channels he has defined. Lots of temperature, pressure sensors. We can even look at uh, you know, each one of them, see how he configured them. Uh, we can look at thermocouple channels. Uh, you see there are eight thermocouples. Uh, we can look at frequency channels. We see he has a, he's reading the, the load cell RPM here, or the break RPM here. He also had set up some flow meters. They, they were not set up properly, so don't look at them uh, uh, for this particular run. Um, we can look at the CAN bus. So he had a, a CAN bus module uh, where <clears throat> he got the, the lambdas. So all the eight lambdas came for a CAN bus module. And there are a few other uh, extra channels that he wired up uh, to, to get uh, you know, enough, uh, enough data channels. Noise filtering, yeah, all that stuff you can take a look at. Um, let's maybe do a 
uh, check of the gauges. So if you go here, new run, uh, here you will see his, his gauge setup. Now this screen may look a little bit different on your computer, uh, depending on your re the resolution of your screen. So you may need to move some gauges around. If you want to do that, just uh, take a look at, or drag them over whatever you like like that and make them larger or bigger right or you can click uh, auto arrange here to 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 give a, get a basic setting of course you can turn them on and off as well by uh, by uh, this uh, this uh, gauge selector selector here okay uh, before we load the raw log file let's take a look at the break setup so this run was made with the load control break mode so there are different break modes here load control is the one we normally use for water breaks and we can see he he ran at, from 8300 rpm to 10,000. so that's the sweet spot for these uh, engines so it's going to be a relatively short run you see a sweep rate of 600 and and quite a, a narrow uh, window here uh, but good to see how that is set up. You can also look a little bit here. For example, he's ramping up the brake before the run to 30%, such that uh, by the time the RPM reaches the start RPM, 8,300, the engine is already loaded with the 30% brake. Okay, uh, let's just dive into it. We do a load raw log file. And here you need to select the, the file that you downloaded in the zip file. This is one of them, ProStock Billet Engine.log, that contains all the raw data from the Yordino box. And we run it in like this open, boom. Here we see we, everything is moving, and the run is done like that. Uh, if you want, you can do it again by just clicking restart and, and uh, run it again like that you may notice that um, uh, the lambdas were not uh, moving and that's because those come from the the canvas module and that's not the uh, part of the raw data the raw data only uh, comes uh, from the your dino box so that's going to be stuck at 10. you may also see that the break uh, is stuck at 0% and the reason for that is that when you do a, a raw data import there is no feedback so you know normally uh, the break will uh, change the rpm will respond and there is a there is a feedback loop there so that doesn't work of course when you run a raw log file so that's just stuck at zero that's uh, that's normal okay when you have done that you click save and close <clears throat> and we see the data here and we can just, if you want to, go and open the CSV file of the run too, which is the original uh, file from when he saved the run. And of course, it's going to be the same, right? They overlap. So they are both here. It's the same, the same run. And uh, they're just, uh, just different, uh, different ways of getting it, so to speak. Okay, you can play with this. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.